Welcome everyone to the NCAA Week 10 Predictive Playbook Show. I have the pleasure of doing a quick hitting fashion show with my buddies Rocky Atkinson and Don Buster. And we all call him Buster. If you're a friend of his, you call him Buster. So welcome to the show, guys. We're uh, going to get right at it here. In Week 10, there's a lot of great games, and there was a lot of great games last week. Uh, we're looking at a 4 o'clock start here at Razorback Stadium in Fayetteville, Arkansas. A little chilly down there for those guys. 63 degrees is going to be the game time temperature. Arkansas minus 5. The over-under is 55.5. Arkansas 5-3. and three. Mississippi State ranked number 17 in the AP poll. And they are also 5-3. and three. So can Arkansas get this win over a ranked team this week, Rocky? Well, I, I actually think so, John. Uh, uh, both, like you said, both teams come in with identical five and three straight up overall records on the season. Uh, the Mississippi State rushing game is almost non-existent. They average only 54.4 yards per game on the ground. They're ranked number 130 in ro- rush offense in the nation. Arkansas, on the other hand, has a strong rushing attack averaging 249 yards per game on the ground which is number four in the nation, and their total offense are, is averaging 465.2 points uh, yards per game. Uh, Mississippi State will have to try and pass against an Arkansas defense that is allowing only 167.5 passing yards per game, which is ranked number eight in the nation in pass defense. Arkansas puts up big numbers. They score 32.8 points per game overall, 38.2 points per game at home, and they're scoring 39.7 points per game the past three games overall and 35.2 points per game on turf this season. A few trends I'm looking at this game, Mississippi State is 1-6 against the spread the last seven games after a bye week. Arkansas, on the other hand, is 8-2 against the spread their last 10 games following a bye week. Arkansas is 18-8 against the spread the last 26 home games against a team with a winning road record and Arkansas is 11-5 against spread last 16 conference games. Right now, 78% of the public is all over Mississippi State in this one, so I'll gladly take the other side. I'm going to lay the points with Arkansas on Saturday. I like that play quite a bit, Rocky, because when you're fading the public and they're on an underdog, the win percentage is even better than when the public is overly exuberant on a favorite. It's That's a, that's a real good breakdown there let's keep things rolling here we're gonna go over to buster here with a game with another ranked team it's number 19 nc state wolfpack six and two three and one in the conference going up against a very disappointing team in florida state who's three and six and two and three in the conference nc state is only a two and a half point road favorite though the total is 56 points take it away buster and tell us where to bet this game uh, as always, John, thanks for having me. Uh, Rocky, I'm a contrarian player myself, so I like that play on Arkansas. Uh, we're going to go, this number was uh, opened up at the key number of three, dropped down to two and a half. We're going to go with the Wolfpack here. I think this is a really bad spot for Florida State as they just uh, had a great game against Clemson, a real tough loss. And another key here is that they have a look ahead of game against their hated rival, the Hurricanes, next week. So, and, and in this spot here, I always love being on a team that actually has the better offense and the better defense. And North Carolina State has a 56th ranked offense in the nation compared to Florida State's 75th. But more importantly, North Carolina State has a 27th ranked defense compared to Florida State's 68th. Gotta believe that Duren has his team really focused on this game. We know that they have a big game against Wake Forest, but that game means nothing if they can't win this one. So the look ahead for Miami, I mean, sorry, for Florida State against Miami, that's a whole different type of look ahead. The game means this other, the look ahead for, uh, sorry, for North Carolina State here, it's way more important not to look ahead and to be focused for this game. Only laying a field goal, like North Carolina State here, minus a two and a half. But 
But as always, John, I got a little uh, couple of stats for you. North Carolina State, 7-3 and three against the spread the last 10 at Florida State. Even better, they're 16-4-1 against the spread against Florida State. Gives us a strong play here, I believe, on Florida State minus 2.5. I like the breakdown. Buster, I really do. I, th I think um, you know Florida State season does depend on uh, their only game that worth playing. Not worth playing, but the, the rivalry game against Miami is huge. And uh, NC actually, State could truly smoke them. I, actually, John, sorry. I, I might have said uh, Florida State minus two and a half. I meant North Carolina State, of course, minus two and we, a half. We knew what you meant. We <laughs> sorry, knew what you sorry meant. Sorry about that. You know, you get to sometimes get talking. No, that's get quite all right. You get, a, you get a little mixed up. And like I always say, guys, I've told you this all the time. I'm a gambler. I'm not really a talker on these things. Try to do the best I can, get you a bunch of wins here. And so far in college football, we've been pretty good. NFL, eh, not so much. But we'll, we have one in the next video that hopefully is a winner for you guys. Yeah, that's cool stuff. Always good. So my turn now. We're going to go to the Big Ten. And that 8-0 Michigan State Spartans team. Uh, I know a lot of us had Michigan State as a premium bet last week, and uh, you know they didn't disappoint, did they? Uh, truly a remarkable turnaround by Mel Tucker and his staff there up uh, in East Lansing. And uh, I, I like the under in this game, and I also like the fact that I don't see a letdown here at all. And they've come this far, and not to draw in the, the movie about Forrest Gump, well, I've come this far, I might as well keep going, but that's where Michigan State is. I don't necessarily agree that they should be number three in that first uh, poll of the college football playoffs. I think that was kind of a little bit shocker to me. More shocking was the fact that Iowa and Wisconsin were in the ranking, but Penn State wasn't. You know, And at the end of the day, that ranking means nothing because Georgia's going to have to play Alabama the way it looks. So it's impossible they could be one and two at the end of the season. So it's entertainment at this point when you when you watch that program and look at the polls. But this Michigan State team is, has really got people's attention now. And I think at minus three, uh, this is a very cheap price. Uh, a total of 54 points, that basically implies that Michigan State will be, you know, basically a 28, 29 to 26 type of game. Uh, and the fact that they're going to score more than 28 points that is implied by the market puts Michigan State in situations in the past where in games when they did score 28 or more is in the mid-70% success rate. So if you think Michigan State's going to score 28, like my models do, uh, you, you want to be on this team. And uh, one other uh, note I have on this game is uh, for the under – is that the under is 45 and 20 the last 10 seasons for 69% winners uh, with one team coming off two straight close wins of seven or fewer points, which is Michigan State, both games against conference rivals, and is a top-level team winning at least 80% of their games. Obviously, they're winning 100%. Uh, this betting angle supports the under and that's my official play for this game. Over the last five seasons, it's gone 18 and 10 to the under for 64% winners. So at the end of the day, I think Michigan State and that defense are just going to squash Purdue's offense. So that brings us to the end of the show, guys. And I appreciate your time. We'll be right back doing the NFL edition of this show. And for the, uh, Buster, Rocky, and myself, sportsmemo.com and wagertalk.com, May all the wins be yours. Thanks for watching.